guys, it's Kelly. I am so excited. I did a video when I was kind of showing this stuff off, but it just took too long. So I decided I was just going to do another video where I actually play for all, all this good stuff that I got. So Vicki Papanu, um, I hope I said that right. She is my muse. Like, oh God, I love her style. And this is her new welcome home scrapbook pad um this is the eight by eight one and i'm so in love with the i'll tell you she knows how to do it guys she just knows how to do it i love her style i love when she does vintage i pretty much love everything that she does but this paper oh I, I i'm like hi my name is kelly and i'm a hoarder like i i don't want to cut it i love it so much but all of these cute little things that I could cut out and use, the value in this paper in this um, design that she did is never ending. Look at all the different things that I can use. Now, I love to art journal. Um, I don't like write in it or anything like that. It's just a beautiful piece of art that I love to create. And it does not I don't have to show it to anybody. It's just for me. I like that. It's, it's my, my hobby. It's my stress reliever. And I love doing that. But this stuff, I love these. Look at this little, it's a house inside a pot with a ladder on it. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen ever. I just love this stuff. I love that this set of houses is on this, I forget what you call those, but wheelbarrow. It's so cute. And all of this, it's so beautiful the way it is. I'm really, really struggling to cut it. Like, I don't want to cut it. I just want to leave it as it is. So I'm probably just going to have to find a way to put this stuff on a canvas or something because it's so, so beautiful. And the flowers and all of this dainty stuff here too. Gosh, I'm sorry. I'm even not even on the screen. But so pretty. I love this bike with all of the flowers inside the basket. I'm just in love with this pattern that she came up with. I absolutely adore it. Um, this stencil that's here, I actually got that too. That's from her collection. So this is so versatile. You can use it on so many different things. You can go really heavy or light and you can see that it's on that paper there. And then I also got this stencil as well um, with the borders. So you can use the border on the outside of it. You can use the insides of it. You can put this in a corner. You've got the, it's never ending what you guys want to do with that. But I got that, but the paper, you guys, a lot of it was sold out. Look at that. Oh, I just love it. And that right there is my jam. And look at this paper. So um, this is like, you create backgrounds all the time for your art journals. And this one's got the best of both worlds. It's like, it's got the wood paneling. It's got the splatters. It's got the crackles. It's got the script. It's so, so cute. I love it. But look at all these that you can cut and, and place and kind of do your compositions with um, little clusters around them. Look at this sucker. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to bring myself to cut this stuff because it's so beautiful. But... Um, yeah, I'm going to try my best to not hoard it. I'm going to use every little piece of this because it is just so beautiful. And I was really feeling spring. I wanted to do something springy. So I finally found that. Um, they didn't have her stamps for the welcome home. They were sold out. So I got this. This is from her original one. Um, this is from a Create Happiness. Is I think this was her first... Um, um collection that she had done with uh stamperia and the the teacups love those and these dainty flowers and the teapot so i i picked that up too and then this is the um the die cut i think it was yeah these are the die cuts for the welcome home i'm gonna have a blast with those these are nice and thick so i'll find a way to use those i don't this i don't want to show you guys everything from it you'll just see me use it and uh, this is the ephemera. So this is a little bit thinner than the die cuts. Uh, quite a bit thinner, actually. But all the little flowers in here, so I don't have to fussy cut. Sometimes I'm down for fussy cutting. Other times I'm like, no. I just, I don't, I don't feel like doing it. Or I don't have time, right? I'm busy at work. I have a living I got to make, so. And these collectibles, um, I don't think that everybody fully understands the value in this. Um, if you've been watching her, uh, Vicki, and she doesn't pay me for this. I just... I'm just doing this because I bought it and I, I like to share products that I love. Oh, I got one that I used. Look at that little sucker. Anyway, so this is the uh, collectibles and these, there isn't a page wasted. So you can use all of this. You can use this border here. You can use all of these little guys in here. 
Um, but then the coolest thing about this is that all but this the front and back page, they are front and back of the image. So this this front page isn't obviously, um, but I'll show you. So the, these little kitties and these little doors on both sides. So you can use it left or right. You can use it however you want. You can use it on one of those spinning cards where you can see both sides. Um, I think that that is just a, a great design to where I can use it left justified or right, doesn't matter. And these flowers, front and back, all of them. Love that. And here's one that I did cut out. I did cut some of this paper. <laughs> and I inked it a little bit. I just wound up not using it. But look at all this stuff. So front and back, so cute. Look at the cups. Everybody loves her teacups. I, I gotta tell you, I'm a fan of them. And all these guys right here, the book. Look at that little book. And the boots, I can't get enough of the boots. Look at the, the swags here. That is so cute. I'm gonna have to use that. I might use that today, this one. Let's see. And maybe one of these pots. I have an easier time cutting this out because that's exactly what this is intended to do. It's intended to cut it out. But I'll tell you, cutting that eight by eight paper, I'm having a hard time because it's already there and so beautiful. And the backgrounds on this are so beautiful too, but I, I'm fine with cutting these out. Look at the walkway there. But these the, these are so cute. To have it front and back is a big deal for these birdhouses too. I love that. So you guys should check it out if you're into this kind of style. You know, again, I'm not paid to say it. Look at the letters. Oh my God. I did cut something up, up here. Um, I'm not paid to do this or anything like that. I wish I was. I wish I could make a living doing my, my artsy stuff that I just adore and I love doing. But I just can't make enough money doing that. So I do uh, this for fun. So look at all this. I could so use every single one of these. Every single one of them. So this one's not front and back, but it's a sentiment. You don't want it front and back, right? And then the, the clocks here, they're not front and back. But again, it's a clock. Yeah, I don't want to see the front and back. Otherwise, everything would be backwards. So... I love the thought that was put into this collection. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I just, I love it. So I'm going to play with it. Some of the other papers that I got, because I'm um, just invested in some Stamparia papers. I won't show them all to you, but I did invest in some of these papers because they're gorgeous. Um, again, I'm a hoarder. I'm going to be a hoarder. I'm going to hoard Stamparia stuff. I'm going to try to not do it, but something tells me <laughs> that I will. But the garden one, these are so cute. So lots more to come on that. And then the blue, the blue land. Love this one. And there's another blue one that they have. This is the older one, I think. But some gorgeous, gorgeous papers in here for you to use and play with. So, But today I'm going to show you a couple pages that I've done in my, bur in my book. Get those out of the way. Let me get my stencils over here. And let me make sure you guys can still see me. Um, yes. Okay. So I'm using my phone this time instead of my other camera. I don't know why I'm just, that's just what I'm doing. So this is my art journal book. Um, these are some funky pages I did a long time ago. But um, I will do a full run through on this book when I have a little bit more time. But the most recent ones that I have done is um, this page here. Um, and these are about three and a quarter by about five and an eighth is about the size of this and I love working with the smaller size it's just it's what I what my life allows for time and um, it's a lot less intimidating than a big old piece of paper and you're trying to fill in the spots and everything so this is this is more soothing to me so this one um, I just used it's so cute I just used something that I've had in my stash for a really long time by paper rose it is a strip uh, for film and it does both of them so it, it cuts out all the things inside and you can either use it to cut this strip that has it all these popped out or you can use it to cut the strip that looks like a movie strip and for this one I decided to use the one that just cuts it all out and then I filled in I used the, the gaps and I popped them up and put little butterflies on them so it was really easy and then I just did a little imagine piece from Tim Holtz thing so that was super easy these are the flowers from this uh, stamp from her um, welcome home collection that I cut out and I just made little clusters there and then this one was this one was fun I was playing with backgrounds and I did purple and all kinds of fun stuff and then I cut some of the papers and the pot with the flowers in it 
And then this is from uh, something else from my stash right here. And then welcome spring with a little tag. So all that fun stuff, most of that was used from um, what I cut out here in the book. But yeah, you can probably see. Like I cut out a little flower here and I cut out some stuff up here. That's where the, the, the bowl was. There was some stuff there, I don't remember. But. But yeah, so that was fun. So I wanna do another page. Um, so I'm gonna cut my paper to size and we'll see what we come up with. I don't have a plan right now. I um, am gonna use some ink, I know that, um, for my background. And I love the color palette here. So I think I'm gonna go with like a blue background and I'm just going to use my regular Distress inks. So I'm gonna bring out, kind of, kind of do like a, Hmm. I'll just bring up all the blues and figure out what I'll do from there. But yeah, I'm just going to smush and squish and some water and have a good time making a background. So, and I'm going to cut my paper to size here. This is just um, 110 pound scrap piece of paper that I have here. It's about five and a half. Um, and a half. I'm not sure which piece I want to cut here, but this will have to be the one just for the sake of getting the video done. Okay. I'm going to cut it. I'm not scared. I'm going to cut it. So that's five. So I'll do this one. It's about three and a quarter, if I remember right. Right around there. And then just over five. I'm going to go with that. see if that fits in there yeah that'll do cut the corners there's another one I can use the side round my corners because that's just the way that I did this this little journal you don't have to do that but I think I used like a a die cut thing for that and it wound up just cutting the corner so I just I just went with it okay so if I look at the different kind of blue tones in here and get a feel for what I'm gonna be doing there's some purples I think the lighter blues are gonna serve me better so I think I'll go with these two right here so I'm just gonna smoosh smoosh with those two colors, get my spray. And I wanna kinda keep it in the center here, so I'm just gonna smush it and see what I get. I really don't have a plan. And if I don't like what I see, move it around. I'm going to make that work. Be honest, I'm not crazy about it. But it's a background. I'm never crazy about the background when you first do it. It always looks messy and like not right. So I might add a little bit more of the tumbled glass. That's gonna work. Let's try it. Let's try it. Put some of this stuff back. I love that salty ocean. Oh, it's gorgeous. gorgeous. I'm gonna leave those out in case I need them. I might want to do. You know what? Just realized. 
I might want to do splatters in Stormy Sky. So we'll see. We'll leave that out. And then, can't live without vintage photo. Depending on what I'm going to choose here, I can't. I can't do the paper. I'm not ready. I, I just. I, I must. I might need an intervention. Ooh, these balloons are cute. I might use a balloon, like a purple balloon. Hmm. I was thinking wild honey. Not sure. We'll see. Get my act together. I have all these handy dandy little things and then I always forget to put them down on my work. There. Okay, now that that's dry, I kind of like it. Now it's not like, it's not all the way dry, but I can make that work. Okay. So I like this balloon, it's a good size, so I'm thinking about cutting that out. Um, I did the flower pot. I cut the balloon, what else could I put with that? Got some leaves going behind it, maybe one of these, maybe blue butterflies. Oh my god, this is going to hurt. Oh, that actually hurt me. Like, physical pain. <laughs> I bought it to use it, but I'm seriously like, <gasps> no. Oh, that guy's cute right there. No. Pink one's cute. I'm going to stick with... Oh, maybe I'll use that one. I'm going to cut it out. Just going to make it happen. So tell me. Um, please, in the comments, do you guys struggle with this stuff too? Because I'm like, oh, it's so hard for me to cut this because it's so gorgeous. I have such a hard time cutting it. And I'm like, oh, look at this paper here. I'm going to cut that too. I'm probably going to use that too. But I just have a hard time with it because it's so beautiful. But And I've hoarded paper for a long time throughout my crafting time. This isn't the first time that I've had a hard time with it. I have hoarded. Um, like I said, hi, my name is Kelly and I'm a paper hoarder, especially um, Vicky's collection. I'm definitely a hoarder with that, but I got to make it happen. I, I got it so I could play with it because it's beautiful. So I just need to get over it. But tell me in the comments if you guys struggle with this too. Like how many paper stacks do you still have in your stash that you it's, you're in love with? It's just so gorgeous and you just can't bring yourself to cut it or use it because what are you, you're just looking at it. <laughs> Stop looking at it. Just cut it. Do it. It's hard, right? But I guarantee you, when you're done, you will wind up with something that is more beautiful than than just sitting there in the package. Just gotta do it. So my scissors that I use for fussy cutting are the Tim Holtz small ones, and I like them, but I see other people using, um, I think, Honeybee? Uh, small scissors so let me know if you guys have ones that you think are better than these ones that are going to be worth the investment I have some I have like these these are not good at all for fussy cutting they're too sharp they're too I don't know these scissors have um, a jagged edge on them and they're very forgiving when you're fussy cutting and that's what I like about them because this is not my favorite thing to do um, I don't hate it um, but I do have to be in the mood for it or it's just not going to happen. Now I do have the, the ephemera and I could use that, but, and I probably should have for the sake of the video. Sorry about that. But I'm just, part of this video is to say, listen, you guys are probably hoarding your paper too, and it doesn't hurt. You're not going to bleed if you cut it. Um, and there'll be something beautiful in the end. So you're not alone if you're having a hard time. And you're hoarding your stuff. I get it. I speak that language fluently. But look, everything's okay. Not the end of the world. 
you bought it to use it, just use it. I'm going to leave that basket part. I, I could get all crazy and cut that out, but I'm just not going to do it. Because it's just my art journal. And I don't need to show it to anybody, but I am showing it to you guys. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I absolutely love that. I am in love with it. Now, um, I do want some butterflies. So with my ephemera pack, I will probably, let me save you guys. Some, I'll spare you. And I'll try and find some things I can use that are already ready in here. Um, that already has some. We'll see. Look at all of these gorgeous little tidbits. I love them. So I don't need the big bike. That is a very, very specific. A lot of these big ones I don't need. Looking for something smaller. I keep gravitating to these really small flowers and they're just absolutely gorgeous. But there's already some flowers on here, so I don't think I need to do that. But I might pull out one of these birds. That one's a little too big. I love that she's got in her collection, she's got all different sizes of things. Like if you have a size of the table here, you might have it in the uh, collectibles in a different size. And I also like that these ones that you buy in the ephemera pack, they are not, um, they don't have the white surrounding them. I, I don't mind that, but these ones don't have that. So, oh God, I love this thing. That would be cute if I had it grounded. A little too big. So I'm looking for a small bird. Maybe a bird isn't going to be what I want. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think I need the dogs. That bird's too big. It's cute kitties. Oh my god, they're so cute. That's definitely not the right scale, but that's cute. Little fatty. I think we have some small. I thought we had some smaller birds in here. Or maybe not. Mm. Oh, yep, there is one. Get them all out of here. Come on. Well, that's just cups and flowers, so I can leave those in there. This little dude. He's so cute. I don't want to break his little feet. Probably have to ink them, add some shadows around him. But this is really cute. I like that. And then I did like this paper the way that it was on the side. So I'm just going to kind of grab some of that real quick and see if maybe I can do some like. I'm just going to tear it a little. Not only do I cut it, now I tear it. Everybody calm down. It's all right. <laughs> it's going to be okay, I promise. Oops. Oh my God, fell down. So I've got one of these super cool little... Um, I have it connected to my... I don't know why I do, but I just do. Um, this is one of those little Tim Holtz paper distressors. If you don't have one of these, just you don't have to use it. It's really handy. I really like having it. But you could just use any of your scissors and you'll pretty much get the same result. But um, this one lets me be pretty rough with it. And I like that um, without worrying about it getting too crazy. The scissors, I can tear it a lot easier. Yeah, you want to tear it to some level, but I just want to make it rough. I don't want to necessarily tear it off, you know, and the scissors will sometimes do that. It's rectangular. doesn't have to be perfect. The imperfections is the part that I love. I don't like straight corners. We'll get rid of those. There we go. That's nice and stressed out. I like it. And then 
I was going to pull another piece, but I think I need some more color just to kind of offset that. So let me see what I got in here. That is all pretty neutral. Oh, this is going to be painful. I'm almost happy that I didn't find anything that I thought would work. <laughs> this is probably going to work. <laughs> eh, no, I don't want to. Don't make me. Oh. <laughs> God, it hurts. Oh, the cover came off. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. I'm going to be okay. I'm thinking about just taking this piece. Maybe, I don't know. Look how gorgeous this is. I don't want to compromise any of this. I love that. I love these butterflies here. I think I can just kind of get away with just doing that piece. So, God, I'm, I think I might need therapy. <laughs> I had to turn my little heater off because I'm cooking my kidneys here. Oh, gosh, it's going to be so hard. I just, I just gotta do it. I just gotta do it. Look at these little flowers right here. Oh, the big long scissors. Ugh! <laughs> oh, God. All right, I did it. Cut it and tear it like the paper's got feelings or something. I can't help it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I might not even use these. Who knows, but... I wonder if Vicki would see this and just laugh her butt off at me and go, get over it. Just cut it. That's what I made it for. <laughs> but she can't lie to me. I know that there's things she's hoarded too. Don't even try to play. Don't even try to play. Everybody's got their favorites that they hoard. Or that they, you know what? Hoarding is, is a strong word. So maybe, maybe that you that you hesitate to cut just because it's so gorgeous and you're like saving it for some kind of other special project yeah, and then it never comes but that's how we justify it I'm speaking the truth y'all know it okay I'm making a mess so now this is a little too big but I'll have some overlapping gorgeousness here do some you know what? I could probably get two out of this one. Yeah, I like that better. And I'm not sure what direction I'll go with it. Now I gotta distress it a little bit more. The creative process. These videos usually run long, but I don't know. Sometimes you know, I get I get kind of mixed feedback. Some people really like the shorts. Um, but when you're talking about like a process, I don't know, sometimes it's good to see the way, the reality of it, like when you're creating and, you know, when you're editing videos, it's like, how come it doesn't work that way for me? Well, no, it doesn't. We edited it. <laughs> it doesn't work that way usually. So I think I'll try that. And then look how it's, it's not hard. I'm, I'm really not going to overthink this too much. I do think I need a butterfly though, and I don't see any butterflies in this ephemera pack. Um, that's the one thing I wish that we did have in this pack. So feedback for my friend Vicki is to have the butterflies in the ephemera pack. I think that would be fantastic. I love this little bird and he's going to stay right there. You stay right there because you're too cute. All right. Um, butterflies, butterflies. That one might be good. Where'd I put them? Oh, right in front of me. Yeah, I think we'll do this one. So I got a, I got a fussy cut. The whole reason I'm using my cell phone is because I wanted this to be real time. Um, so I'm sorry that you guys got to sit here while I fussy cut. I'll go as fast as I possibly can. But, um... My time is so limited lately. It's, it's not even funny. That's why I haven't been doing so many videos. And I'm sorry, guys. I want to do videos. I really do. 
but I can't deliver on that usually between the family obligations that I've had lately. Things, things change in our lives, as you all know. And then work. Um, I do have a more than full-time job and it takes a lot of my time. So editing videos uh, takes a lot of time. For those of you that don't know, it's it's very and it's very tedious. And the free time that I have, I just oh gosh, I I'd love to do this stuff, and I got some free time today. Um, but the free time that I do have on the regular, I just I gotta make it work with being with my kiddos and my family. Hope you all understand, and I hope you're doing the same thing. I really do, because that's the stuff that really matters. And this is important. You know, if it was my living, things would be very different. And like I always say, gosh, if I can make a living out of doing this, I would just be happier than a pig in poop, I tell you. I really would. I wish I could do this, make good money doing it, but I don't think that's going to be in the cards for me. Because I'm not like, I didn't go to school for art. Like, I, I don't have a degree. I, I'm not schooled in this. I can help you with a mortgage and service the heck out of it, but I can't help, you know, this is my thing that I love to do, but I've never been professionally trained on it. So for me to, you know, try to make a living out of it, say, here, listen to me. I, I'm not, I don't know. don't think I'm quite good enough at that level yet, but hopefully I'll get there. But I got to pursue it actively. And to be 100% honest, I kind of don't. So that's why I'm not. Um, these are so perfect. Look at that. Oh. So how much were your artists? Happy, day. okay, happy days. That's it right there. I'm going to cut that sucker out. And that will be the answer. That one. Or wait a minute. Maybe something... You know what, I think that that oval will go kind of feeling the straight lines. Uh, I think I'll go, oh, that's, happy days might be too big. I think I'll go with the happiness. Let's do that one. Oh, careful, careful. I'm going to leave them all on the page as much as I possibly can because I don't want the little, these little perfect little images floating around in my workspace and getting lost. go so I think between these two I'm probably gonna be done I'll do some splatters and I might be done I'll do some um, distressing on the outside and then call it done didn't take much time at all probably watching this is painful guys fast forward for through the fussy cutting sorry about that but it's real time. Hopefully I have some people that watch my videos that really like the real time idea. Okay. So now that I got the, the general layout here, I'm going to put that guy right there. Bring that down a little bit. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it all yet, but I could fuss with this for an hour. I'll fill in some space here. I don't care. That'll be good. Okay. All right. Time to get my distress on. This is, this is an old one. It's loved. That is for sure. Just going to go along the outside. one of these put 
This one is well loved. Okay. And then I can usually just use, once I go around the edges here, I can usually just use whatever's left on there um, to kind of hit these little pieces here and there. But it's, it's so weird how it makes such a big difference between, like it cuts back the white of it. It just makes such a big difference. It softens it up and gives it that vintage feel. Makes it nice and soft. And I just love that. That is my jam. Um, I might. I, you know what? I don't have to do that, I don't think. I was thinking about maybe matting that with some black paper. Behind it. But I'm not going to do that. This is one of my favorite things. When you distress the paper, the way that the ink hits it and it's got all that texture on the edge, it really makes it come to life. I love that stuff. Dang it. You know, I don't even have to ink that part. It's going to be covered, but whatever. It's done. This edge looks too perfect. Too perfect and too straight. So i got to mess that up a little bit. Sometimes I got to bring it in a little bit more from the edge, and I felt that I needed to do that on this one. Seems to match that one a little bit better. Okay. Sometimes I got those little pieces on there, I just brush them off. My pad will just hold on to it, so it's all good. It's all good. Get my baby wipe. Get it cleaned up. There we go. Okay, so here's the plan. Kind of liking it. This guy needs to be popped out a little bit more. I need this one will do. Gonna hear my son in the kitchen. I just needed a little bit darker on the outsides, just so it has a little bit more attention to it. It helps a little bit. struggling on where to put my sentiment. decision sooner or later. Here we go. 
I'm still unhappy with that. Dang it. I feel like you need one long strip in there. I do. One long strip in there. Not bad color. Let me see if I can find it. That brown might work. Might be too much brown. And I am not seeing I find that color. I'm overthinking it. I just need to make it work. You know what? When I put splatters on, it's going to be better. That's where it will come together more. So my balloon. So I just need to make it happen. I wonder if this is dried out. Oh, I think it'll be okay. Well. Kind of dry. Any glue will do. This is the one I had. And I'm leaving the edges in case I want to like tuck some stuff behind. Probably pop him up a little bit. I got a little bit of room for dimension in my journal. Spare piece I got right there. I like to cut little pieces when it makes sense. Doesn't always make sense, but I need to pop it up down here. So that was my thought process without it showing. There it goes. And this, this sticky stuff doesn't always um, do very well. So it's up to you guys. I mean, I like to, I tend to um, put a little extra liquid glue on the back of these when I pop it up. Just so it stays put. Plus it gives you just a little bit more wiggle room when you want to place things. If you cover all of this with glue, then it kind of slides around and lets you move it. So that can be handy sometimes when you're fussing like I do over placement. I like to use my tweezers. Helps me to hover. Um, right there looks good. It's going down. Ooh, this is crooked. This one got a little crooked. You know what? If it bugs me, I can wrinkle that paper. Just makes it more distressed. Doesn't matter. You know what? I'm going to wrinkle this one too. There we go. All right. Crazy sentiment placing time. Having a hard time with it. Having a, the butterfly usually goes up here, so I'm a little I'm a little turned around. So if I put it here and have it flying off. 
cover in that join. I think that that will work. So how cool is that? So it's on both sides, just to bring back the point. It's on both sides. So if you want to curl up those wings, if anybody looks underneath it, you're going to see the wing. I freaking love that. Freaking love it. Seriously. Love, love, love it. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to get over it. Um, I don't want to pop that up. Nope, I don't. Change my mind. I might tuck some flowers around it. I don't know. We will see. That works. My glue is all dried up. I've used like almost all of this. It was pretty good. It was seven says glue. Not bad. I think I got it in a one of the kits. Can't remember. I do like their kits. Got a little glob in there. There we go. I'm kind of liking it. It's a little crooked in there, but that's all right. Ta-da! That's done. Easy peasy. Kind of. I mean, I could keep on going. Like I could put this bird in here. I could put all kinds of stuff. Like I can add some more flowers in here. Oh, that one's white. But I really think that it starts looking too busy when you start doing that. I don't need to put more in there. It's just going to make it busy. I've got flowers there. I've got purple flowers there. Just needs to be done. I forgot to do my splatters, so. I'm going to do splatters on here. And then I'm going to be done. And I will go and... and and uh, seek counseling to help me with the uh, distraught thing I have with cutting the paper. Just kidding. I'm not going to seek counseling. Everything is fine. I am going to kind of make this a little bit darker on the edge because I like how that brings your eye to the center. It's very subtle, but it does do something. And I'm going to leave the somewhat white areas because I think that that offsets the other white areas and the things that I got on there. Ephemera pieces. Ta-da! And I'm not really worried about protecting anything on here. All except for... Oh, I'm going to save that. All except for the sentiment. I don't want that to have splatters on it. So... Oh, I need to glue that down. Bear with me, guys. Hold on. Use this one. This is barely art... Precision craft glue. Love this one. When I don't let the pin get stuck. There we go. Uh, oh no! There it goes. I just need to get that down a little bit better. Now, I need a little scrap piece of paper to protect my sentiment. And then I think I'm going to use ground espresso to splatter. I think that will be fine. I'm going to squish it, spray it, brush it, and splatter it. Do a little test run. Ta-da!
Ta-da! That is it. And then these little glass jars that I get here, these are from um, those little ooey, whatever, the little yogurt glasses that you get. Little fancy ones. I will get those when I have a coupon. And I, I reuse them. They're like the perfect little cup for my craft room. I love it. So I don't know if you guys are into that thing, but I recycle where I can. I'm not a huge deal, huge save the earth kind of person, but if I'm going to buy it anyway, why throw that little glass cup away? I can reuse it. I'm going to dry that, my splatters, so they don't smear because I really like where they all landed. And I hope that you guys are as pleased as I am with my little welcome home creation. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. The cool thing about these books, if you guys are into making these little books, is that they're very um, forgiving and like you don't have to like freak out about working in the book. You just you work on the paper and you put it in the book and that makes it a lot easier in my opinion. And then I just glue it in. Glue, uh, whatever, however you want to glue it in. It's totally up to you. This glue is on its last leg, so I'm going to have to squeeze the heck out of it to get it out. I think it's clogged. As a matter of fact, I, I know that it's clogged, but I'm just trying to not have you guys sit here and watch me unclog my glue, because that's freaking boring. But it's going to be difficult. Mod Podge works too. This one is also going to be difficult. This is my precision one, so I don't like to do it when I have to use, use it on big areas. But it is the best glue that I have used ever in my many, many years of crafting. This is my absolute favorite glue. It comes with different tips, so if you know, I could have changed it, I don't. I just leave it with this one. And if I need something, if I don't need something, or if I need like a bigger space, I just use one of my other glues. But that precision one is the bomb diggity. I love it. Oh, when you put it in your book and you say, look at this beautiful thing that I made. And I didn't have a thing to prove to anybody. I did it just because I wanted to do it. If you want to get fancy like I do sometimes and you ink the outside of the page, you absolutely can. I might leave this one as it is. I don't know. Since I've already glued it down, I'm probably going to have to. Ta-da! All right, guys. I hope that you like it. Um, again, I don't get paid to talk about these products or anything. I purchased them myself. Um, I just like to share when I find something that has a great value or it's just so, so pretty. I just want to share with you guys. So I really love how that turned out. Hope you guys do too. Have a great rest of your day and I will do another video as soon as I possibly can. Bye guys.